Well, today, many Rhode Island businesses have been waiting for an end to the statewide indoor mask mandate. It's now up to individual businesses to decide their own policy. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni spoke to businesses about their decision as the changes go into effect. She joins us now live from Providence with what they're saying tonight. Anita. Well, Shannon and Mike, while the indoor mask mandate is being dropped for most indoor spaces, including businesses, you should still keep the mask handy now that businesses get to decide their own policy. And from what I've seen today, some are ready to ditch the masks and others say not so fast. The state dropping its mask mandate is a start on the road to normalcy. The responsibility now shifting back to individuals and businesses, whether or not to wear or require masks indoors. For peer cleaners in South Kingstown, it's a day they've been waiting for. I think it's an individual preference. If they want to wear a mask, they're more than welcome. This change coming ahead of a very busy weekend for restaurants. Despite that, some aren't ready to ditch the mask or vax policy just yet. We're going to continue doing what we've done uh, since the uh, pandemic started to keep our customers and staff safe. The change is not across the board. Due to federal rules, masks will still need to be worn on public transportation, including school buses, airports, and state buildings for now. Now that the power is back in the hands of individuals, state leaders urging Rhode Islanders to be kind of others' preferences. If a business does decide that they want to keep masks on in their premises, let's all observe that and let's be friendly about it. And let's also uh, acknowledge and be respectful of anyone's individual decisions. Governor Dan McKee making this change as the state sees a steady decline in new cases and hospitalizations. I think that getting people out and, uh, and uh, interacting with one another, that's uh, really important. Now this change coming just a, a month shy of when schools will be able to drop their mask mandate. The power there also shifting back to school districts. For now live in Providence, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News. Tonight, Providence schools say masks will still be required after the statewide school mask mandate ends on March 4th. In the meantime, the mask or vax requirement Governor Dan McKee issued in December is over. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni has been talking with people and businesses and joins us live from Providence with what she's seen today. Anita. Well, Shannon, it's been a mixed bag. I was in South Kingstown earlier today and Providence this afternoon. I've seen people in and out of businesses with and without face coverings. The bottom line, keep your mask handy because the decision is now in the hands of businesses, whether they want to require masks or proof of vaccination. Some deciding to drop the mask or vax policy. Now it's whatever they want they choose to do and others aren't as quick to make the change we all watched as sean white within sight of the finish line fell down and lost we're not going to do that it ain't over till it's over rhode island joining a growing list of states dropping the statewide indoor mask mandate so i think that you're going to see a general sense in our state uh, that uh, we've earned the spot that we're in today there has been a steep decline in new cases in rhode island the seven day average falling by nearly 90% since the start of the year. Hospitalizations too, dropping by over 40%. Let's all be tolerant. Let's all be nice. Let's all accept what decisions people make. This change coming in time for a busy Valentine's Day and Super Bowl weekend, a request business coalitions made to the governor that was ultimately granted. Advocates say by dropping the masks, it will attract more customers. Now, this mask policy change is not across the board. You'll still need to wear a mask on public transportation, including school buses and trains. That's because of federal rules. I've also been told that state buildings will still require masks be worn indoors for now. Live in Providence, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.